Hi. I am Alice. I work as a system administrator at Forward Incorporated. My organization needs to secure access to critical data. Different people will have varying levels of access based on their role. One easy way to do this is to implement a more secure password policy for senior management. Let me show you how this can be done. Assume, we have one password policy set for the entire user directory. Say, the main group. Now, that senior management access is critical data. To ensure that the access is more secure, I have to create a separate password policy for that group. Say, the subgroup. So what are the steps involved? First step, I need to verify the existing user directory configuration and user details for the main group. Secondly, create a password policy for the main group. Then, create another password policy for the subgroup. After that set the evaluation priority settings for the password policy configured for the main group. Finally, validate the working procedure of the password policy set for the subgroup. Now, I will demonstrate the detailed tasks involved in each step. In this scenario, we will use the LDAPD user directory. Three users are created for the purpose of this demo. The JSplorer Windows shows the list of users. First, let's browse to the CA SiteMinder Policy Server Administration page. Enter the login credentials and click Login. Click the Infrastructure tab. Click the directory link. Click User Directories from the left pane. We will apply password policies for the users residing in this directory. Click the Modify icon to view its details. View the General and Directory Setup details. Then, scroll down. Ensure the user attributes details are specified correctly. In this scenario, Car License is used as a disabled flag attribute and is used to validate the user. As there is no change, click Cancel to return. So, we have verified the existing user directory configuration and user details for the main group. Next, we need to create a password policy for the main group. Click the Policies tab. Click the Password link. Then, click Password Policies from the left pane. Click Create Password Policy. This will be the password policy for the main group that contains all users. In this scenario, LDAPD is having three users and all will have the same password policy. So, specify the name. Set the directory as LDAPD. Select the password policy applies to the whole directory option. Ensure enabled checkbox is checked. Then, click the expiration tab. Specify the values in the expiration section and in the password expires if not changed section. Then, scroll down. Similarly, as required specify the values in the incorrect password section and in the password expires from inactivity section. Click the compositions tab. Specify the minimum and maximum password length in the password length section. To keep the password simple, nothing is entered in the content minimum section. Click the advanced tab. Uncheck the apply lower priority password policies checkbox. Click submit. Click close. Click Logout. Access the protected CA SiteMinder password services page. The password change request page gets displayed. Enter the login credentials of user 1, who is the member of the main group. Enter the old password. To validate enter the new password that does not match us with the password composition of main group. Then, click Change Password. The error message gets displayed. This indicates that the password policy set for the main group is getting triggered properly. Now, enter a password that comply with the password policy composition of main group and click Change Password. Observe that the new password is set for user 1. So, we have created a password policy for the main group. In addition, we have validated that the password policy is working as desired. Our next task is to create another password policy for the subgroup. Click Password Policies. Click Create Password Policy to create a password policy for the subgroup. Similarly, specify the name and directory information. Ensure you select Password Policy applies to part of the directory option. Then, click Lookup. The User Lookup page gets displayed. In this scenario, User 1 is member of main group. 
Now, let's set a separate password policy for user 1 and consider it as the member of subgroup. Specify the details and click Go. The user details get added in the list. Select it. Click OK. Similarly, ensure that the enabled checkbox is checked. Then, click the expiration tab. As you did earlier, specify the values in the expiration section and in the password expires if not changed section. Then, scroll down. Also specify the values in the incorrect password section and in the password expires from inactivity section. Now, click the compositions tab. Specify the minimum and maximum password length in the password length section. Then, scroll down, specify the password composition details. In this scenario, the subgroup users are going to access critical data. So as a best practice different values in the content minimum section is specified. Click the restriction tab. Specify the minimum number of password before reuse as 10. Then, click the advanced tab. Here, specify the evaluation priority. In this scenario it is set as 10. This is because the subgroup users will access critical data, and the priority for them should be higher than the main group. Also, ensure that you uncheck Apply Lower Priority Password Policies checkbox. Then, click Submit. We have set the password policy for the subgroup along with its evaluation priority settings. Now, we have two password policies. Our next task is to set the evaluation priority settings for the password policy configured for the main group. To add the evaluation priority settings, click the Modify icon of the password policy set for the main group. Click the Advanced tab. Set the evaluation priority as 2, which is lower than the subgroup. Then, click Submit. Click Logout. So, we have set the evaluation priority settings for the password policy configured for the main group. Our next task is to validate the working procedure of the password policy set for the subgroup. Access the protected CA SiteMinder password services page. The password change request page gets displayed. Enter the login credentials of user 1, who is now member of the subgroup. Enter the new password that does not match the password policy composition of the subgroup. Then, click Change Password. Error message indicates the mistake. User 1 is the member of subgroup and its evaluation priority is higher than the main group. So, the password needs to comply with the password policy composition of subgroup. Change the password as per the required composition and click Change Password. Message confirms that the password is changed. Let's try to change the password for user 2, which is the part of main group. Enter a password that comply with the password policy composition of main group. Then, click change password. The password gets changed as user 2 is part of main group and not the part of subgroup. So, we have validated the password policy set for the subgroup, and ensured that it's working as desired. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, Visit www.ca.com/education